Hi and welcome to the Toolbox channel. Today we're going to show you how to set up a free OneDrive account. Uh, so first of all, we're going to go on to uh, Chrome. Oh, uh, we're also going to show you how to link it to a user as well. Uh, so what we're going to do is type in Office Online. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, we want to click on the top link and we want to click on Sign In. Now this does require you to have a Microsoft account already. Uh, I'll leave I'll leave the um, the accounts that are actually valid in the description. I'm sure you have a Microsoft account already. If you don't, then just go ahead go ahead and head over to Hotmail or Outlook and just set yourself up an account. Um, now click on next and what you should see next is your office online and just sign in with the password that you use for that particular account. Uh, now I got it wrong a couple of times here uh, so just bear with me. Um, so what we're going to do is, throughout the rest of this video is actually show you how to link this account to your uh, current account on your PC. So it automatically syncs all of your OneDrive files to your computer uh, just just and uh, you're able to access it just like a folder on on your desktop uh, so yeah it's going to ask you a quick security question just uh, it's, it's nothing really that important just click on looks good and uh, you should get on to the next screen which is uh, your office online account uh, so this is how you're going to access your documents from a PC that's not linked to your, your uh, email address. Um, so click on uh, type in Office Online, you're able to access it. Click on OneDrive here, and uh, this is um, this is your OneDrive account. Uh, obviously, I haven't got anything in it because I've just set it up. Um, with this free account, you get 15 gigabytes of available cloud storage. Now this is great for anybody that. Their, their their cloud storage is actually filled up on their iPhone and they need an alternative uh, just in the meantime and you can use OneDrive you get free uh, 15 gigabytes uh, for free so that's great uh, so next we're going to show you uh, how to link your uh, email address up to your user so you click on uh, type in control panel click on add and add and remove users and then you need to set up or well, add a new user account. So click on that little link at the bottom, add a new user account, and just wait a sec, there we go, and type in the email address that you use to set up that Office Online account. Uh, and what this will do is this will actually link your emails also to your, to your PC, so you'll receive emails in your, um, in your email app. And also, um, it will sync your OneDrive to your computer. <coughs> okay, so just add the user, click on Next. And what I'm going to show you quickly, you need to add administrative act, uh, rights to your account because you don't want to be limited on, on what you can actually do on your, your on your account. So you click on the account just there. And uh, you want to click on uh, change this account settings and uh, click on ad administrator and just get back and what I'm going to do is just sign into that user here we go I'm signed in now as uh, my account and uh, I'm just gonna. Oh, uh, well, as you can see, the the OneDrive folder has, hasn't actually uh, s uh, been synced to my computer yet. It only takes a couple of minutes. I mean, I'll, I'll cl click on OneDrive now. Um, I'll show you in real time how long it actually takes you takes OneDrive to actually sync to your computer. Um, so I was just checking the settings just to see um, how much storage I actually got. Fifteen gigabytes, as you can see there. So that's great, making sure all my settings are correct, which they are, close that down, and um, click on my OneDrive again, give me a sec, click on OneDrive, and um, yeah, it should refresh in, in the next couple of seconds, here we go, in progress, click on sync, and uh, 
it will just uh, check for the changes and sync any or all of your data to your computer and there they are there's there's my folders that's in the, this is in the metro app so um, if we uh, head on back now we can actually go into our folder and see that we have a OneDrive folder now and uh, yeah it's sunk to my computer uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up your OneDrive for Business account. Thank you for watching our video on the Toolbox channel. Uh, please like our video and subscribe to our channel. I hope this video has been helpful and there should be more videos coming soon.